I'm Dr. Carroll and welcome to today's video. To start off with, imagine you've been wheeled into an emergency room with a serious head injury. Well, what you'd hope is that the, the emergency room wouldn't take patients based on a cue, a first in, first out, but instead that they would evaluate the patients based on their level of need, who has the highest priority. Or imagine you have um, a million numbers to process and you're only interested in, say, the largest hundred. What data structure would you use? Well, the answer to these is, and for these solutions is a priority queue. Okay, and priority queues are used in greedy algorithms to choose the option with the best predicted outcome. So let's talk about what is the definition of a priority queue. It's a data structure that stores items and restricts accesses to the highest priority item and only to that item. Okay. So then it has a very limited number of um, abstract data type operations. Namely, you can create an empty one, you can test if it's empty, and you can insert an item. It just gets stored in this data structure. Y you could have top, where it returns the item with the highest priority. Or you could have, an, and note it, its returns. And this is as opposed to pop, which is removes the item with the highest priority. So let's talk about some implementation options, okay? First, um, what if we had a, a linked list? Well, insertion could be order one by putting the new item at the front of the list. Great, can't be order one. Well, but top and pop, however, then would require order n to scan through all of the items to figure out which item has the highest priority. So that, that doesn't sound very good. We can do better than that. But if we use the sorted link list, well then top and pop would be order one and it'd just be dealing with the uh, first or last item, depending on how it's sorted. The problem is if we wanted to insert something, then we'd have to be, re would be required to go through every item and that'd be order n. Well, what if we used a search tree? That would be overkill. It supports many operations that we don't need. Notice our operations list is very short. The natural op, uh, implementation for a priority queue is a binary heap. That's it for today's video.